This story takes place in Norway. The Norwegians are outdoor people, and in the winter, they like outdoor sports. Now, one of the winter sports the Scandinavians like best is ski jumping. At the age of five, a boy will build a jump in his backyard, and by the time he's 15 years old, he's jumping in neighborhood weekend competitions. Because the Norwegians begin at such an early age, they've produced some of the world's greatest ski jumpers. Another winter sport liked by all Scandinavians is cross-country ski racing. Long ago, the easiest way to get from one place to another in the winter was on skis. As a result, there are now competitions to see who can ski fastest for long distances. To become an international cross-country ski champion, like Sweden's Sixten Jernberg, here, it's necessary for a man to strengthen his muscles, train for endurance over a period of years. Here, Sixten Jernberg demonstrates skiing through deep snow to develop his powerful kick and to perfect his timing. A cross-country skier must spend a great deal of his time developing an efficient, yet quick, hill climbing technique. To develop his hill climbing ability over 30 miles of track, the cross-country skier uses special wax, which keeps him from slipping backwards. Sixten Jernberg is famous for his hill climbing ability. Scandinavians produce champions because they start going cross-country at an early age. Now, once a year, all the best cross-country ski racers in the world gather at Holmenkollen in Oslo, Norway to compete. This year, a cowboy from Texas has entered the race. No American has ever finished better than 25th place. Now, the cowboy's Norwegian girlfriend, Greta, has great faith in his ability and has encouraged him to enter. Here at the start is Norway's 50-kilometer racer, Martin Stockton. And a short distance away is world ski champion Sixten Jernberg waxing his skis. His wax will be especially designed to meet today's snow conditions so that his skis will grip the snow to go uphill yet slide when he goes downhill. And here are the fins with Vaco Hoculinen waxing up just beside the starting gate. Before the race, each skier must have his ski tips painted by a race official. Ski rules demand the use of the same skis throughout the race. The paint mark on the ski tip makes it possible for the race officials to enforce this rule. Here we are at the start, and here is Finland's ace 50-kilometer racer, Eero Kolmainen. And here is the cowboy ready to start. Out on the track, the cowboy's optimistic girlfriend, Greta, is waiting to cheer him on. Apparently, the Cowboy forgot to get his race number before he started. Each racer must be identified by a racing number, both on front and on back. And there goes the world champion, Sixten Jernberg, starting the race. He's the obvious favorite in today's race, and farther out on the track, the cowboy is making slow progress. 
He thinks he hears a skier coming from behind. It, it looks like Sixten Yernberg. And it is. Look at his powerful quick kick. A beautiful skiing style. In this stiff competition today, the cowboy doesn't seem to be doing too well. Well, perhaps he can improve his style somewhat to do a little better. What's the matter? Now, a cross-country ski course has many types of terrain. The Norwegians have outdone themselves in preparing a difficult course for today's race. One of the most difficult portions of a cross-country race are the downhill portions. Cross-country skis are very light and do not give the racer very much control. In fact, skiers often fall on these treacherous downhills. Hill climbing is also very difficult. The skier must change his tempo and scamper up the hill if he is to use his energy most efficiently. Norwegians are famous for their ability to skate around corners. The skier must turn quickly if he is to avoid trees. All cross-country ski tracks are well marked with little ribbons. These ribbons are placed every hundred feet or so through the countryside to indicate the correct track to the competitors. The streamers are usually of bright colors and located in obvious places in the wilderness, so that it's impossible for the skier to get lost. But despite the well-marked trail, a few skiers do get lost. But they're always helpful Norwegians to give them direction. Back on the track, this is one of the most popular places for the crowd to watch, a feeding station. It's impossible for the human body to withstand 30 miles of cross-country racing without taking on added nourishment. The cowboy's girlfriend Greta is at this feeding station where the racers are offered either sugar water or soup. The cups with the nourishment are held at a low angle so the racer can look in and decide what he wants. Here comes Finland's Veiko Hockeylinen, who is racing just 15 seconds behind Sweden's world champion, Sixten Jernberg. Hockeylinen took a cup of sugar water. Back on the track, Greta is anxiously waiting for the cowboy. All the other racers have passed the feeding station, and she's afraid that her boyfriend has dropped out of the race. In the meantime, Hockeylinen from Finland and Jernberg from Sweden are battling for first place in this country's classic. The crowd is very excited as these two ski giants fight for each second of racing time. Greta finally sees her boyfriend in the distance. She thinks he must be very hungry after all this time. What with the extra food and the embrace from his girlfriend, the cowboy seems to be coming alive. 
Greta's confidence in her boyfriend, apparently, has a powerful effect on his skiing ability. And remember those difficult hills? Well, just believe it. Love accomplishes wonders. Look at that technique. As the race continues, it looks as if Sixten Jernberg will take first place. As hard as he tries, it looks as if the cowboy has no chance. Farther along the trail, it's Veiko Reisenden from Finland. He's famous for his kick and style on the flat. Look at him go! And here's Russia's Vladimir Tushin, as he barrels along just 15 seconds behind Hockey Linen, who is running second. And here's Sixten Yernberg, just one mile from the finish and 20 seconds ahead of Hockey Linen. Look at his beautiful double pole style as he starts each drive with his powerful back muscle. Here is the finish, and the crowd is gathering, expecting to see a close finish between the world champion and Hockey Linen. But who's this coming in the distance? The cowboy from America, supercharged by the embrace from his sweetheart. The photographers rush out to take his photograph as the cowboy crosses the finish line. The first American ever to win the world famous and most grueling of all cross-country ski racers. The results of this race will long be remembered. But I wonder, will people remember the real secret of the cowboy's success? <laughs>